Welcome to Ronald Koeman's Barcelona Tactics in eFootball Pairs 2021. i got to admit, it didn't start very well at all, but things got significantly better. So stick around as I show you the pros and cons to this formation and tactic. But let's dive into the tactics first. So it is a fluid formation, and this is without possession of the ball. So it's a 4-5-1. And note those positions down that you're seeing there. And then if we move into possession of the ball, I want you to take note, especially to De Jong, who moves into a defensive position. The fullbacks will push forward and Coutinho will move off to the left a little bit. And obviously, um, well, I'll cover the wingers off Fatty and Griezmann in a second because they, they have false wingers on, so that means they will cut inside. But that's the, that was the main key changes from going out of possession of the ball to in possession of the ball. If, a, if you don't know how to use a fluid formation, I'll leave a link at the top of this video so you can click on that and it should explain to you how to create a fluid formation in under five minutes. So, attacking instructions, possession, short pass, central central attack and air, flexible positioning and two for support range. Defensive instructions, front line pressure, wide, conservative, seven for defensive line, five for compactness. Fancy instructions, false number nine and false wingers. So those are the tactics and formation now let's get into some gameplay so as you saw we went a goal down pretty soon but we struck back through a good bit of link up play between Fatty, Coutinho and Messi but look how uh, Messi just drops off their defense to feed Coutinho one thing this formation is really good at is counter pressing so this is where you sort of catch your opponent in his own half trying to build it from the back so Look at this as Busquets sweeps in here to take the ball from Benzema and then plays a lovely through ball to Fatty. So in this next clip, this is from their own goal kick. So lovely intricate play between Griezmann, Coutinho, Messi linking up nicely. But then you've also got the overlapping fullbacks, which is really nice. So you've got plenty of options going forward. And you really should do better with that header. Now let's take a look at this formation from a defensive point of view. So Real Madrid have just had a corner and I've just cleared my lines. And so the, my defense, or my, the shape of my team is still um, fairly defensive. Still a lot of players back defending. They're not too quick to get out, which is really nice because it makes it very hard for Real Madrid to penetrate me in that instance. And the same here. Look at the amount of players behind the ball. I'm still playing a neutral attacking defense strategy, so I'm not exactly overexerting my players. But, you know, even on legend difficulty, I'm able to sort of snuff out the danger and apply press from both sides and then win the ball. The problem with all formations is when you turn over the ball in your own half and you get caught out here like, like I've done, but I managed to get a player across and, uh, and do a job there. But the thing I really like about this formation is the way the false wingers tuck inside. So we've got Griezmann there into Messi and then Messi has a shot here. They then clear it. But now I want you to just watch Fatty's positioning and, uh, and Griezmann as well. So you can see I let it run there with Messi and Griezmann was just tucking in around the back to la try and latch onto it. But the defender intercepted it. And De Jong obviously being the third centre back you know, you can bring him forward to join up with the play as well. One of the main issues around this formation is the stamina. And you will find by the, certainly the 80th minute that you've got some serious stamina issues with your front four players. So it was towards the end of the game where that frontline press paid dividends again with the fresh Trincao on, cutting in off that right-hand side, playing into Messi, who then plays it onto Dembele to tap into the empty net. In my last tactical video, in the Thomas Tuchel Chelsea Tactics video, so I mentioned that, you know, they'd like to see me play against a more defensive side like the likes of Burnley. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm coming up against Ibar, who play a defensive 4-4-2. So they've got two defensive midfielders, so you'll see that they've got plenty of numbers behind the ball. I think it's actually easier to play against defensive teams. And it's just about probing and trying to find a spot or space in their, in their defense, which is what you're seeing here. So I'm being very, very patient, just waiting for the openings to, to happen like there, see. You, you know, and I tend to find that if you set runners from deep, it's probably one of the best ways to break this sort of this sort of defensive shape, so to say. So, you know, Dest here, 
picking up the ball, playing it back to Busquets. So it's all it's all about probing and looking for spaces. Here we go. Coutinho's in. A little bit of a super council to cut across the ball. And then uh, I should have scored there, to be honest. Here, off the corner, the ball comes out. What should, what, what should I do here with Dest? I play the ball back, but I send him on a run. And then just looking for that deep run. And it's he's almost on the end of that. So keep your attacks varied when you're facing a defensive low blocks side like this. And uh, yeah, no no two attacks of mine are the same. They're all different. And Messi should score there. So a little bit unfortunate. In this game, I didn't actually score, which is... Uh, but it... You know, I came close so, so many times. Um, the goalkeeper just had a worldie and uh, some of the finishing wasn't quite on point. So on another day, I would probably run out quite comfortable winners. But, you know, I was, I was having plenty of shots and wasn't like I was being stifled in any way. So you can sort of see this formation against the low block side and how effective it can be. And obviously on Legend, they are going to have their spells of pressure, which is what you're going to see here. But they don't really cause me any problems, as you're going to see. From a defensive point of view, this is a very, very solid formation. I actually really enjoyed using this formation, I've got to admit. Um, but you can see there the strength and numbers I had in the middle just force them to play the long ball. They're going to then try and go out wide to try and probe. But it's all about hunting and packs in these wide areas. So you can see there Griezmann all the way back there um, with PK applying pressure. They go back to the middle and then it's just a hopeful through ball which is easily tidied up. So you can sort of see how this formation manages against a, a low block side. But I still had more chances in the second half to try and wrap this up. Deflected shot there. Didn't quite go my way. And uh, here's Alba. You know, your fullbacks are really important. Driving forward. Plays the ball through to Fatty. And, you know, it's a great save again from the goalkeeper. Perhaps should have been in the corner with my, uh, with my shot. And then you're going to see... A break out here and this was right at the death 89th minute he does actually try to take me out try to take Dembele out but then he's through and I think he's just got to put this away but he's hit the bloody bar <laughs> so the match did finish 0-0 and I thought do you know what I'm going to give you guys a rematch because I just felt like I was really unlucky in that instance and it was actually a, a free kick to them they played a long ball a lot of their players were caught forward so we caught them Hot on the uh, hot on the hills and on the counter attack, and Griezmann tucks it away. But I want you to see here is watch Messi drop off and the two false wingers cut in. Look at Fatty and Griezmann here cutting in field as Messi dropped off. I love this about this formation. Works so so nicely, and the way Coutinho and Messi interchange as well. So lots and lots of ways to sort of create chances with this formation. So definitely highly recommend this formation. Definitely worth giving it a go. And that is pretty much it for this video guys thank you all for joining me and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video let me know which current manager tactics you want to see next i want to do the current managers first and then i'll move on to the legendary formations and tactics that's all for me ladies and gents thanks for watching i'll see you next time take care of yourselves and goodbye